In Ghana, most health care is provided by the government and largely administered by the Ministry of Health and the Ghana Health Services. The government has put many policies in place to help improve on quality health care delivery. In 1996, Vision 2020 document was developed. The document defines the nation's areas for priority attention in the medium to long term and the health sector was one of them. The nation also agreed to the Millennium Development Goals MDG derived from the 2000 UN Millennium Declaration. The achievements made in some of the goals, especially Goals 1 mm -hmm. and 2, which address extreme poverty and hunger, as well as education respectively, are commendable. However, Ghana has fallen short in reaching several other goals connected to health. While the government has increased its expenditure on health care more than threefold within the past 10 years, health care infrastructure is still patchy and inadequate, especially outside the large conurbations such as Accra. Urban centers are well served and contain most hospitals, clinics, and pharmacies in the country. However, rural areas often have no modern health care, even where there are. The large portions of the rural population just cannot afford traveling long distances for health care. The common perception was that apart from the government and, to a large extent, religious missions, other donor-financed non-governmental organizations dominated health service provision. The phenomenon has, over the years, boosted the government's efforts in providing quality health care to the citizenry. Therefore, interventions and benevolent activities of non-governmental organizations geared towards supporting the government in all sectors of the economy cannot be downplayed. One such effort is that of the Lordina Foundation and MedShare USA collaboration. Since the launch of the Alternative Source of Income program, now the Lordina Foundation, in 2009, its primary objective has been to focus on destitute and vulnerable children, especially young women, and to bridge the gap between the fortunate and the unfortunate in the areas of education and health. In line with the Ghana government policy of providing quality education for children in the country, the Lordina Foundation has shown keen interest in early childhood development, children in learning and orphanages, and has been supporting such institutions with books, interactive toys and other education materials. The foundation is working to secure funds for the establishment of dining halls, kitchens and teacher motivation programs for educational institutions, especially in deprived communities across the country. Ghana's health sector has been faced with the daunting task of resourcing public health facilities with adequate and basic medical supplies so that health workers are able to deliver quality care. The government obviously could not have done this alone. One of the Lordina Foundation's primary objectives is to support the government in its quest to provide quality health care for the citizenry. Apart from collaborations with other like-minded non-governmental organizations to provide medical screenings for members of less privileged communities in the country, the Lordina Foundation has been active in mobilizing support to acquire medical items for a nationwide medical outreach. Street. This is to help enhance quality health care delivery in Dick Street and community-based health facilities. In 2013, the founder and the national executive of the Lordina Foundation, the First Lady, Mrs. Lordina Dramani Mahama, was in New York at the invitation of MedShare, an American-based non-governmental organization dedicated to improving health care, the environment, and living conditions of the poor. 
MedShare recovers and redistributes to underserved areas, medical equipment and other supplies which are in surplus elsewhere. The gala night meeting was an opportunity for both entities to enter partnership on how best to enlist global support for their activities. MedShare thus became the Lordina Foundation's partner in their shared efforts. So far, 20 public health institutions in the northern, western, central, Volta and Greater Accra regions have benefited from the Lordina Foundation Medical Supply Program. In the northern region, beneficiary hospitals included the Savalugu Municipal Hospital, the Yagaba Kubori Baptist Medical Center, Walewale District, Damango District, Bole District, Tolong District, and Naleregu District Hospitals. Items presented to the hospitals included surgical equipment, medical gloves, beds, bicycles, an ambulance, and mattresses. Addressing a large gathering at the Waliwali Hospital, Mrs. Mahama said the government recognizes the crucial role that doctors and nurses play in health care delivery. The community, as a stakeholder, has a major role to play in achieving quality health care for all. The community cannot stand aloof and think that health workers alone are responsible for the good health of our people. The First Lady also visited the Tamale and Amfani orphanages, all in Tamale. The supervisor of the Tamale orphanage enumerated some of the challenges the orphanage is facing. Ainasi Health Center in the Elembele district and the Discove Hospital in the West Ahanta district, all in the western region, have benefited from the foundation's medical supply. I urge you all to take very good care of the item so that the Elembele District Health Director, Madame Elizabeth Coney, the chiefs and the people of the area were all appreciative of Mrs. Mahama for playing the role of a mother. They, however, urged her to help speed up the process of upgrading the Ainasi Health Center to a polyclinic. The authorities of the Dixcove Hospital deemed the donation of medical equipment as a great relief. The Amanhin of Lower Dixcove, Nana Akwesi Ajiman the Ninth, and his people, though thankful, asked that an accident and emergency center be provided for the hospital. The Salt Pond Municipal Hospital was built in 1920 and is now one of the hospitals in the country on a mission to help Ghana attain the Millennium Development Goals 4 and 5, which are to reduce infant and maternal mortality by two-thirds by 2015. Authorities at the hospital confessed that the health sector is fraught with challenges that make the services rendered in some health facilities in the country unsatisfactory. The gesture by the Lordina Foundation is therefore important in helping to improve safe and quality health care. The Catholic Hospital in Apam in the Gumwa West District of the Central Region was established in the late 50s as a clinic by three Dutch sisters, providing 24-hour health care services to the people of Gumwa and beyond. The chief of APAM, Nana Obutantam Edu Ephraim X, and the hospital officials were thankful to the Lordina Foundation for the medical supplies. They said they need more chips compounds, an ambulance, and accommodation for nurses and doctors. Mrs. Mahama was grateful to MedShare for assisting the Lordina Foundation with medical equipment for effective health care delivery in the country. District hospitals play an important role for treating and providing the health needs of our people. Provision of modern district hospitals is therefore a priority agenda of the government.
Let this hospital therefore become an example of excellence and an important high quality and best patient care center for others. At the time the Lordina Foundation took its medical supply outreach to the Volt region, there was an outbreak of cholera in some parts of the country. While in the northern part of the region, four district health facilities got the donations. 123 boxes of medical equipment were donated to the Ketekrachi District Hospital to help wave off some of the pressure on the facility. The chiefs and people of the area and the hospital authorities expressed gratitude to the First Lady for her gesture. They pleaded with her to add her voice to the call on the government to upgrade the hospital to a teaching hospital, resource the midwifery training institution in the area to its full capacity and get it affiliated to the University of Health and Allied Sciences. The Inquanta District Hospital, the Jassikain Government Hospital and the Kwando District Hospital were the next port of call for the First Lady. The Laudina Foundation's medical supplies, according to the management of the hospitals, will go a long way to complement the government's efforts at improving health care delivery in the areas. First Lady Mrs. Lordina Mahama called on health workers to strive for perfection in health care delivery and hoped that her gesture would serve as appropriate tools that would motivate them. She said, in as much as the government is investing a lot of resources into enhancing public health care delivery, it behoves on every individual to always take precautionary measures to prevent contracting diseases. Ebola and cholera are two public health concerns to our countries that are battling with us. We are lucky that the Ebola virus has not affected any of our people in Ghana. And government is committing resources and enforcing security at our border to manage any infection. But we have recorded some deaths from cholera. These two public health issues require that we as a people observe basic personal hygiene. Another consignment of medical supplies from MedShare was donated to four more district hospitals in Kmeje, Aflau, Keta and Sudakofe in the southern part of the Volta region. The Fiaga of the Kmeje traditional area, Togbega Achridom, the Fik and his people as well as the authorities of the Kmeje Polyclinic say there are virtually no basic medical supplies for the facility to fully operate as a polyclinic. They urged the First Lady to do more and also get others, especially the government, to help properly equip the facility. <laughs> The people of Aflau and the Ketu South Municipal Hospital were grateful for the Lordina Foundation's humanitarian gesture. The paramount chief of the Aflau traditional area, Togui Amenya Fiti, said Aflau is an important border town susceptible to disease due to the heavy human traffic. You know, Aflau is the gateway to not just to the Republic of Togo, it's a gateway to what? the West Africa countries. You know, our brothers from the uh, uh, Republic of Nigeria, let's have a look at the population. Benin, Togo, and the Ecowas Highway, uh, crossing from uh, Nigeria to Benin, Aplau, to uh, Abidjan. The traffic on the road, the first contact, a major hospital on this highway, in this facility we have wow. over here. So the, the staff working over here, they need a lot. 
Mrs. Lordina Mahama said, as a busy border and commercial town, as well as an international transit center, Aflao continues to play a major role in Ghana's development. This makes it prominent on her list of health facilities to benefit from their donation of medical supplies. Mrs. Mahama said, due to the cosmopolitan nature of Aflao, it must do all it can to keep all manner of diseases at bay. The Keta Municipal Hospital was initially established at Fort Prisonston in 1926 and later relocated at Jalukopo in 1935 due to the then devastating sea erosion. It is a referral facility for other health centers in the municipality to provide, among others, communicable disease control and environmental health care. Here too, it lacks adequate medical resources. Mrs. Lordina Mahama said the foundation will continue to support the various health facilities in the communities. The last leg of her medical outreach took the team to the Sugakopa District Hospital. The First Lady said she is passionate about the health and economic well-being of the people. I am here because I recognize the importance of health to the economic and commercial well-being of our people. This is a passion I have shared long before I became a president's wife. But I believe that through my organization, the Lodina Foundation, I can contribute more to support the health and educational needs of our people. The authorities of the hospital complained that the facility is underutilized and appealed for the hospital to be fully resourced as an accident and trauma center that will serve the transitional Aplau Accra Road network. They were grateful to the First Lady for the donation. Mrs. Mahama pledged to ensure that the facility serves the purpose for which it was built. For some time now, the La General Hospital in Accra has been overwhelmed by the influx of cholera patients seeking medical attention. Indeed, the facility needed more supplies than ever. The Lordina Foundation again went to its rescue with its widow's might. The La General Hospital Administrator, Philippe Afeti Koto, expressed his gratitude to the First Lady for her kindness. He said, the presentation of the items is timely as the hospital is in need of the medical supplies, especially in the face of the outbreak of cholera in the capital. The Lordina Foundation is also supporting the government's effort to attain the United Nations Millennium Development Goals 4, 5 and 6, which are to reduce child mortality, improve maternal health and combat HIV and AIDS, malaria and other diseases by 2015. Mrs. Mahama launched a campaign on intensifying awareness on HIV and AIDS, cervical and breast cancers in Sunyai and and Kufuridia in the Bonahafu region and the Eastern region respectively. The aim is to help mobilize communities, educate them and advocate more attention and resources to address the burden of HIV, cervical and breast cancers in Ghana. She advises especially the youth to be morally upright and academically prepared for the future. Born on 6th March, 1963, Mrs. Lordina Mahama, the First Lady of the Republic of Ghana, has a prime vision of providing opportunities for the needy. If the passion that drives her vision is so strong, it is because she has an unwavering belief in the intrinsic goodness of humanity. In 2013, she was appointed by the UNAIDS as an HIV and AIDS Premier Ambassador. She is a member and the first vice president of the Organization of African First Ladies Against HIV and AIDS, OAFLA. 
Mrs. Mahama is also supporting the work of the Ghana AIDS Commission and its heart-to-heart -heart campaign aimed at championing the cause of HIV patients in the country. Her philanthropic efforts and immense contribution to social change in Ghana have been applauded by the U.S. State Department, the Forum of African First Ladies Against Breast, Cervical and Prostate Cancers, among others. Mrs. Lordina Mahama, when not performing her soul's passion as a philanthropist and great hostess, she is likely to be reading, traveling or cooking.